hello everyone welcome back to our channel so today we'll be proving our second theorem on geometry so we have our theorem as the area of triangle is half the area of parallelogram standing on the same base between same parallel lines so if we have a triangle and a parallelogram which are standing on the same base and if they are between the same parallel lines then in that case, the area of triangle is going to be half of the area of parallelogram. So first, let's make a figure. So let's say we have a line over here, right? And let's say we have another line over here, which is parallel to our first line. And let's name these lines. So let's name this line AB and this line CD. Now let's make a parallelogram on this space AB. So let's join this B and D and let's make another line which is parallel to that BD. Let's name this point E. So now we have our parallel lines AB and CD and we just made another pair of parallel lines, right? BD and AE. So we have our parallelogram AB, DE, standing on the base AB, and it is between the parallel lines CD and AB. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a triangle on the same base AB, and between these same parallel lines CD and AB. So let's connect this A with C, and let's connect that C with B. So now we have a triangle ABC, which is standing on the base AB, and it is also between the parallel lines CD and AB. So what our theorem tells us is that the area of this triangle is going to be half of the area of this parallelogram. Now this theorem is easier than our first theorem, but the extra thing that we need to do in this theorem is we need to make a construction. So our construction is going to be, we are going to draw a line from this B, okay, like this, which is going to be parallel with this AC. So we need to draw this line B, and let's name this point F. So we have a line BF, which is parallel to this line AC. Okay, so this is our construction. In our first theorem, we did not do any constructions. In this theorem, we need to make this construction. And then it's pretty easy to prove this theorem. Now first, let's just write the given things, right? So we have our given. So in the given, we just look at the figure, right? And write all the given things in the question. So we have a triangle ABC and parallelogram ABDE standing on the same base AB and between the same parallel lines CD and AB. And that's what we are going to write in our given. And we have just written the same thing over here. So this is our given. Now the second thing that we need to write is what do we need to prove? So to prove, we need to prove that the area of this triangle is half the area of this parallelogram. So we have area of triangle ABC is equal to half of area of parallelogram ABDE. So this is what we need to prove. In the third part, we need to write the construction since we have done a construction in our figure. So let's write that. In the construction part, we write what we just constructed in our figure. So in our figure, we made a line in BF, which is parallel to AC, okay? So we drew a line BF in the figure, parallel to AC. So what we did was draw BF parallel to AC. So that's our construction. Now the fourth part is our actual proof, okay? So here we'll be proving our theorem. 
So in our proof, we will have statements and reasons. So I've just copied the mini version of our figure over here because we need to look at the figure to prove this theorem, right? And we are going to be proving this theorem in just three statements, okay? Three steps. So the first statement is going to be the area of this triangle ABC, right, is going to be half of the area of the parallelogram ABFC. So the area of triangle ABC is going to be equal to half of the area of parallelogram A, B, F, C. So this triangle, right, is going to be half of this entire parallelogram, okay? Our parallelogram A, B, F, C. The reason is because this triangle is formed by this diagonal, okay? So we have the diagonal of our parallelogram as B, C, and the diagonal of a parallelogram bisects the parallelogram. So this triangle is going to be half of this entire parallelogram. And hence our reason is because the diagonal is bisecting the parallelogram, right? So diagonal of a parallelogram bisects it, okay? So it bisects the parallelogram, the diagonal bisects it. Our number two is going to be the area of this parallelogram EBFC is going to be equal to the area of parallelogram EBDE. So this cross parallelogram is going to be equal to this parallelogram, okay? EBDE. The reason being they are standing on the same base and between the same parallelograms. So if you have two parallelograms standing on the same base between the same parallel lines, then their areas are equal. Why? It's because of the first theorem that we did in our previous video. So in statement two, we can write area of parallelogram A, B, F, C is equal to the area of parallelogram A, B, D, E. So these two parallelograms are equal, okay? This one facing to the left and this one facing to the right. The reason is our previous theorem, which is parallelograms standing on same base and between same parallels. So these two parallelograms have equal area because of our first theorem, okay? Now, from these two statements, what we can write is, we are going to combine these two statements, okay? So from the first statement, we are going to write area of triangle ABC is equal to half of area of parallelogram. So we know from the first statement that ABC is half of ABF. C, and we know that ABFC is equal to ABD. So instead of ABFC, we are going to write ABD, since they are equal. So here we are going to write ABD. And this is from statement 1 and 2. Again, so the area of this triangle ABC is half of ABFC, and since ABFC and ABD are equal, instead of this ABFC, I'm writing ABD, okay, in our third statement, because they are equal. And in this way, we have actually proved our theorem. Okay? So we needed to prove that the area of this triangle ABC is half of the parallelogram ABD. So see, we had to prove that the area of this triangle ABC is half of the parallelogram ABD. And that's what we did over here. And done. We have proved our theorem. So if you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future maths videos. Thank you.